YouTube. Fantastic to see you. A lot of you are probably unaware. You've probably never gone to my channel and filtered by most popular videos. I got my start in League of Legends and I had a very successful time. It's not like I started there like every person that started in Minecraft YouTubing, which technically I did start, just not on this account. But I did start there and I had a lot of success in League of Legends and then I gradually grew tired of making content and then my audience grew tired of seeing it so that I transitioned to roguelike and indie games and I, I found much more joy and in, 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 uh, success in it as well. But I still have a fondness in my heart for League of Legends. So anytime that a new modded character for any game that I might play come, comes out that surrounds League of Legends, I have to give it a try. And this Vigar mod, I think maybe flew under my radar. Or maybe I just didn't think was good at the time. But it got revamped recently. And so I absolutely 100% had to give it a try and i gotta say i haven't played a lot of you know i haven't played like skull the hero slayer i haven't played the delivery robot and those characters are very beautiful and seem to be uh accurate towards the games that they represent but from my perspective of actually having played vigar and having played league of legends i think this might be mine in my opinion the most lore accurate character in terms of how they work in terms of the cards that are in the game there's so many cards in the in the game that you're like that, that, that's from League of Legends. So, I, I mean, it's, it's it's absolutely fantastic. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think, what modded character I should do next. And, uh, yeah, give it a rating on a scale of 1 to 10. I will see you tomorrow. Mwah. Or the tier list. Rate it on the tier list. That, that would probably be smarter. So, we're talking the same thing. Uh, today, later today, we are going to be playing Team Fight Tactics with, uh, with BoxBox. And so, what better, what better to do before we get into that with some modded content and slay the spire you deny the darkness in your soul you deny your power then the tiny master of why does it why do i start with ascension one and two apparently this mod has been has been uh around with some so i've been told um if you look on the steam page for it i subscribed to this version of it today essentially revamped they said but uh yeah basically they said that this guy starts out really weak but slowly ramps up throughout the run which if you've ever played vigar in league of legends you know that that's exactly how he works because he has an infinitely stacking ability that lets him just consistently over time get an infinite and un unrelenting amount of damage it's gonna be good it's gonna be some good time let's go play the tiny master of evil 65 health 99 gold an enthusiastic master of sorcery the tiny master of evil has embraced powers that few mortals dare approach. You start out with phenomenal evil power. Phenomenal evil power grants ability power. Is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby. Oh my goodness! The amount of phenomenal evil power you need to gain ability power, additional ability power, is dependent on the amount of ability power you currently have. <laughs> okay. Oh. <laughs> 1 to 5 AP equals 1 PEP for AP. <laughs> you have 1 to 5 AP. You need 1 phenomenal evil power to gain 1 AP. But if you have 6 to 10, you need 2 PEP to gain 1 AP. And 11 to 15, you need 5. So essentially, it's just saying whatever. You get it. We'll figure it out. I think it's going to make sense pretty easily. Um, but you also start out with uh, ability power. For each ability power you have, you deal 1 extra damage with certain Tiny Master of Evil cards. With certain Vigar cards. Vigar cards. With certain Vagar cards. That's so... That looks so shit. It's such a poor... It's a, it's a, it, it. This counts as essaying, take a toke. I'm not toking right now. I love the PNG. It's so sick. That's awesome. Alright. No availability of 1 HP Elite. That's fine. We don't need it. We don't know how to gain ability power yet. Let's look at our starting deck. Uh, four strikes, four defense. Baleful strike. Deal one damage to the two frontmost enemies. If fatal, gain a stack of phenomenal evil power. Okay. And then, then you'll... And then if you have enough phenomenal evil power, you'll gain ability power. And you have two of them. You have two baleful strikes. Okay interesting and guess what our enemies start out as one fucking hp man seems a little op to me huh
Uh, we just want a Baleful Strike. The front to the two frontmost enemies. This is literally his cue from League of Legends. I will swallow you soon. Wait, so now we have two AP? How long does this, does this last forever? How do I gain the ability power? Just know that if the tables were turned, I'd show you no mercy. Shut up, man. Minion support. Gain four block. Repeat for every minion you have summoned. <laughs> if the caster minion. Summon one caster minion. Dealing, uh, dealing each turn one damage to a random enemy. While active, all attack cards deal one extra damage. Hello? Or I can just deal a little bit of damage. It's a very low amount of damage. But again, it scales with our AP. You get level W second. You got a level W second. Right, yeah. You don't want to level up right now. Caster sounds like a bad synergy with Fatal. That's also true. Let's take a Dark Matter then. Let's level up our abilities. Okay. Yeah, so it's scaling right now because we have two extra AP. Okay, hold up. Give me a Baleful Strike. Oh, and these even deal more damage too. I will swallow you soon. <laughs> Are you guys liking this chat? <laughs> If you have uh, played a non-block skill this turn, draw a card and create a Brass Burden card in your hand. It doesn't tell us what that card does, but we don't have any skills that don't block. Discard one card, draw one card. If you discard a Darkness card, draw one extra card. I don't think I have any Darkness cards. Or another Baleful Strike. I'm going to say no to all of these. Actually, this is draw one, discard one, draw one. I will swallow your soul. <laughs> No! Is dark matter darkness? It's true. Is that a dark card? Is soul what we're calling it these days? It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? Right, we're not just doing Vigar quotes. And or, I mean, I guess we are. I think I'm right now, I'm not going to take anything. I, I think right now I'm just going to like hold off and just like fuck around, find out kind of thing. Right, that's fine. That's fine. Let's go here. Oh. Cannon minion. Summon one cannon minion. Dealing four damage to a random enemy and giving four block. Wait, that's actually sick. Wait, ca two cannon minions? Gain five block. Add two darkness cards to your hand. Wait, this upgrades the cost and the stuff that it gives you. That sounds like a broken fucking card. All of your minions attack like it's the start of your turn. So minion builds sound like they're viable, man. Let's remove a strike. You can't miss the cannon minions. You get two AP from those. Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> what is he gonna do? Can you? He, he didn't say the line. <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Next turn, gain two energy and one strength and dexterity. Wait, why does it say that upgrading it makes it cost one from three? What the hell? <laughs> Banshee's Veil. Gain 14 block and one artifact. That's pretty good. I like a Banshee's Veil. Deal seven damage. Double the damage if target is below half HP. Okay. Yeah, that seems a little broken, but I'm not going to upgrade it anytime soon. So I'm going to take a Banshee's Veil. Yeah, so these are slowly ramping up in D, man. Let's uh, let's play a Distilled Chaos. I love it, man. <laughs> uh, let's go like this so that we get an artifact. And then we can go like that. Okay. Sweet, sweet. Doing all right. We're doing okay. Baleful, baleful, baleful. Okay, we're probably not going to get off baleful then. We're not going to gain AP from this fight. We're just going to have to kill him. That's fine, though. Preserved Insect is sick. Rod of Ages. Deal one damage and gain one block. Increase this both by two for each turn. It's retained. Oh. Rod of Ages doesn't seem terrible. I'm going to take a Rod of Ages. It's been a while since Vigar's wanted to build that. This guy just looks like evil Arr. Geodude. <laughs> um... I think we do pretty well against both of the next. Um, did Mal finish the run? Uh, no, he didn't. He died. So yeah, if we can like hold this in our hand for a while, especially with the AP as well, like we actually do a lot of damage. 
And then we can gain artifact at the same time. Evil Geodude is my new favorite fusion. <laughs> yeah, look at this building up. This is really good. And then next turn, we should be able to get another Banshee's Veil off. That's good. Okay. That's good. Oh, that's two mana. Look at that. Why is it so expensive? So yeah, now we won't take any debuff on their third turn. It's really sick. Chat, I don't feel like I do a lot of damage, but that's like the whole point of the character, right? Is to be really, really weak at the beginning. Chat, is that- Did you just make a fucking short joke, chat? I swear to God, if you just made a fucking short joke. He doesn't like it. Don't be mean. Your soul is going to come, man. Also, this is good. Look at this baleful strike. So wait, this is showing how much AP I have. This is showing how much phenomenal evil power I have. Okay. At the start of your next turn, gain one energy or gain... Oh my god. At the start of your turn, just gain two energy and it's an innate card. Interesting. Play your next attack card twice this turn. That's cool. Event Horizon. Apply one weak to all enemies and gain one block for each enemy affected. Next turn, stun any enemy who intends to attack you. What? Equilibrium first. It does help out a lot, but Event Horizon seems a little broken, man. Tenib is goaded. It's quite good. Man, she's baleful. We're definitely getting four AP off this fight. Or two kills off this fight. Shut up, man. I just don't like that he randomly plays things or says things. Like, it's just, it's so goopy. It's so goopy. <laughs> it's so funny. It's just actually so funny, man. All right. We've got more AP. More AP. Okay, now we can get the event horizon. We still don't know what the fuck a darkness card is. But let's take the event horizon here. Okay, let's rest. I'm actually going to heal. Why do you hate him? My bad. Am I being mean, chat? Um, Heal me, actually. I would love to stay around this much HP. That's good. We can get double trouble. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, that one's retained. We can get, uh, we can get two. He's just silly little guy. Your commands tire me. Wait, next turn, if he's attacking me? No! L ratio. He is just a silly little guy. You're right. My bad. Wait, am I being mean, champ? Seriously, am I am I being a mean person? I don't want to be known as a, a mean person on this website, okay? I want to be known as a nice guy. Look at this. Look at this. Bang. Seven AP. Play pens. Apply one week to all enemies and gain one block for each enemy affected. Wait, this is just the weaker version of a red event horizon. <laughs> um, dealing two damage to each and gaining two block. Alien minions isn't bad, right? It's like consistent block every turn. It's not terrible, but I just don't think we want it right now. He's like a magic eight ball. Ask him a question and then play a card. It will give you something to think about. I, yeah, sure. I think we might need a little bit of this. You know what? Fuck it, magnetism. Fuck it, magnetism. Watch this. Next turn, they're going to be stunned. What? Oh, he's going to get stunned. Oh, so he's not stunned right now, but he's about to be, I think. I'm going to trust. I'm going to trust that he's not going to be able to attack me here. Okay. Okay. We were a little bit, okay. We were a little bit like, hmm. Huh? 
Shot, we were shot. we were a little bit scared there. We've got nothing to worry about. Then with a mayhem. And with one of those. Didn't trust. I mean, I had the energy. Why would I not play it? I death. <clears throat> I am I evil. <laughs> Let him talk, man, all right? He'll tire himself out eventually, I promise. Even now, your loved ones suffer. He'll, he'll tire himself out, I promise you. Uh, Actually, put you on top. We want to use you next turn. Suffering awaits. It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? Okay, we need to keep you in hand. Okay, so he's not going to do the big attack this turn no matter what, but I think we can still kill you. Baleful. Boom! We should get... I think you should get more AP from, from killing a larger enemy. I think that that should be considered a cannon minion, but, you know, I did make the mod. A super minion. Is this what League was like? <laughs> yeah. This is exactly what League was like. So this deals... Wait, this is so broken. Dealing six damage to a random enemy and summoning one random minion. This just summons more minions. Or play the next card twice. Or gain four block in one intangible. It doesn't... This card doesn't exhaust, man. <laughs> this card doesn't exhaust. <laughs> This is exactly like Zanya's in the actual game. And we're just going to take a Rudic Pyramid. Why would we not? Sad I wasn't here. Why so would we not? So much I could have bullied you with. Peepo giggles. No. Lore accurate Zanya's hourglass. It actually is. You're not wrong. Suffering awaits. When is when the door, get removed? The door oh, get removed? Oh, sorry. Uh, later today. We're doing it at the end of the day today. I just got a busy schedule and I got fucked up with mouse doing stuff. I can actually just prevent people from ever being able to attack. Dude, this isn't okay, man. Check this out, chat. <laughs> oh, wait, I could have just killed him. That's fine. Baleful strike. I don't need darkness cards, man. I don't need any of this shit. No, we just need to make our deck really small. What the hell? After defeating five elites, lower the cost of control, alt, delete, and primordial burst by one. You have slain negative one elites. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I've done what? What? <laughs> I don't have either of these cards. Uh, take it. See what it does. All right, let's take it. We'll, we'll go and we'll go peep what it does. Okay, we need less block cards because our block cards are broken now. <clears throat> Okay, that went well. I am evil. It's going to be a plus three AP fight. Real? 
Uh, Zanya's. <laughs> Oh my god. They're about to attack me. Uh. <laughs> oh wait, I'm actually gonna get hurt. What the hell? Wait, no, I can Baleful Strike them. I can go Baleful Strike. Dark Matter. Strike. Strike. <laughs> wait, this is awesome. No, you're so evil, big guy. You are. The ones in chat, if you're so scared of this guy. Because he's a fucking broken character. Holy shit. I will swallow your soul. Alright. Wait, can we find... I want to find my ultimate. Remove all debuffs. Oh, wait. This one actually exhausts. <laughs> this one actually exhausts. Also, evil rising. That's kind of fun. Draw a card. Next turn, draw another. What's the upgrade on it, though? At this event, you can't look at upgrades. We could take evil crescendo. It's not bad, but... I'll take draw a card. I'll take Morellonomicon. That's good. Oh, good. Ram 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 I'm trying to wait. Okay, this is as if fatal, so it doesn't count on these guys. It doesn't count on these guys. Yeah. Valvier, they're gonna be 82 months. Boys, this has been given the official Twitch chat seal of awesome that you should come watch the stream. Wait, okay, I wonder if this works on the enemies that are about to be summoned. Like if the enemies that are about to be summoned. Will they automatically get stunned? They're not attacking me, so I won't know. <laughs> I do not know what is going to happen. Even now, your loved ones suffer. They wouldn't have been debuffed. Maybe not. You are probably right. As you often are, chat, because you're so cool. No, mouth didn't win today. I smell death. Uh oh, I'm about to get attacked. Zanyas. <laughs> I am evil. Stop laughing. Four hours is fucking flown by. That's good. I'm really happy for you. I got one more AP. <clears throat> Alright, what should I upgrade on Geo, dude? Nothing on this character. Fucking exhaust. Oh, it's probably Morello Namicon to make it cost zero. That seems good. You went from negative one to one. Let's go. Okay, we need to figure out how to get off our thing. Where's the TTS? Ma check. I just realized the stop laughing card would work really well in the champ fight since he laughs at when he debuffs you. <laughs> Try the control alt delete card. I, I think it's a card that I have to find. I don't have it, man. I think I have to get the card. I don't think I just hit control alt delete and it works. Then get it. Oh. So dumb. Why didn't I think of that? Did uh -oh. you know Caesar has been dead for more than 60 years and is still making salads? Minus two, minus two. Even now, your loved ones suffer. You never know, though. <laughs> no, you know, I, I don't. You're right. You are right. 
Wait, is this guy about to get debuffed or am I my high? Sir, I am fear this little Meji is a Yordle. And as far my ease are okay, he remained me one day of Ox and I have still nightmares about Ender. What the hell did you just say? I have lethal here. Very close. I have lethal with this though, so that's fine. We just won't gain AP here. You could also go this. This is actually not bad if we upgrade it with our retain. I think we just need to upgrade. Uh, yeah, I, I think that we take this. More energy. I don't think we need it, man. Maybe we do, though. You're constantly full on draw. Yeah, but that's not. It's not necessarily a. That's more of a we have useless cards versus. We have cards that we can't play, right? You're already OP. No, because I can dead draw now on a full on a on, on turn one. And I'll take this. Akabeko. Huh. Hey guys. Or Calcum with apparitions though is really good. It's quite nice. That's what I wanted to see with the um, dark matter. It's very nice. So now I can go bing bang. Kaboom! This is 11 damage. Bang. We can go bang. Oh! You know what I'm saying? And then we can go bang. That is a plus three AP fight. Call this guy a Vigar, man. I'll tell you. Holy man. My God. Plus three AP fight. We can't take this. Nothing. It sounded exactly like the, like the game. Wait, is this like the game? Hey, Frost, is this, like, the game? Bang. Okay. Next turn. We get off the other Baleful Strike that we'll draw for sure. Baleful. Now, your loved ones suffer. Can get this guy a little bit lower. Our AP is soaring through the roof right now. It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? Ted, stop making short jokes. You're making I him really upset. Stop laughing. So, wait. We currently have 11 AP. So all of our Dark Matter-esque cards are just dealing 11 more damage. It's pretty good. Probably won't need this. It's my birthday. Can you please take your shirt off? <laughs> well, don't well me. I will not be welled. Well, we're waiting. I don't want to be mean here, so I'm not going to be, but I think you guys are pretty goofball-y sometimes. Again, not trying to be mean or anything. Okay. Alright, we just need to figure out now how to deal, like, a fuck ton of damage. Like, how does this character deal a lot of damage is the question. Rod of Ages is a really good way to do that. It's actually a really, really good way to do that. 
I think I think we just play our baleful strikes like it's our job. We just we just baleful all over them. We just drop the bale on them. My birthday is in July. Since July is pretty epic, can you please take your shirt off? Chat, I'm not gonna just take my shirt off if you guys just ask a lot. I'm not gonna do that. I'm sad that Primordial Burst seems underwhelming. What? Do I have Primordial Burst? I don't have that card. Did you look it up? I don't have a birthday. <laughs> oh, we saw it earlier? Did I not take it because it was lame? How many subs to take your shirt off? I'm not taking my shirt off today, man. Chat, I'm about to be doing content with another streamer that I'm very nervous to do content with. Okay, can we all just like be respectful for a little bit? I took Event Horizon instead. Yes. <laughs> uh oh, I'm about to get attacked for a lot of damage. Quick, hit the Zanyas. Can you ask Bosk Box to take his shirt off? No, I'm not. And I'm asking, I'm asking zero people to take their shirts off for free, but also like in general, you know? Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. Is Frost taking his shirt off? <laughs> that we don't need him to take his shirt off since he's doing something much sexier later, taking his door off. That, you know what? Actually kind of true. No, you're right. I am taking my door off later. What if Boxbox gives you the subs to take his shirt off? He's not going to do that. Boxbox is not going to do that. You think Boxbox is watching right now and is going to magically just gift me five subs to take my shirt off? Set up the pen nib. Oh my god, he's so good. At the start of your turn, gain one strength and dexterity and three block. What? I'm so sorry. What the Can fuck? Can you ask Box Box to take his door off? I'm Shirtless. not asking. Deal one damage to all enemies and apply vulnerable to all enemies. That's really good because that probably scales up our AP. Discard all cards in hand. Draw, car uh, draw a number of rare cards equal to the discarded amount. The cost of these cards are reduced by one. What the hell? I'm gonna take this. No, it kills your Ori Calcum value. It literally doesn't matter, but let's go. Is it this is this a tiny house angle? Dude, I got a strike plus. What? I took a rod of ages plus, actually. It's not as useful now that we have that other card that's really good. I think we'll skip. Tiny house. Is that a short joke? <laughs> I wasn't. I, sorry, my guy. I was not. I was. I was not trying to make any sort of implications. I was not trying to make a short joke. I promise. I'm so sorry. Um. Again, I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Grand Overseer's March. I don't like that Baleful Strike makes no sound. <laughs> kind of tilts me. Give up now. Suffering awaits. Oh, damn. Shit. Hold on, I need to stall for more AP. Your command 
Hold on, I need to stall for more AP. Got it. Entropic Brew. Okay. Stop calling him small! I'm gonna get freaking mad if you guys don't stop. I'm really serious. Why does this character look like the wizard from He-Man? This guy hasn't played League of Legends. <laughs> like, imagine, I have totally played League of Legends, guys. When do they add Vigar? I love this small little guy. Guys! I'm really serious. If you guys keep being mean to Vigar, you're not going to like what's happening. What's going to happen? It's close to me. I am evil. Stop laughing. You're not going to like the me that you find on the other side of the door. Do you understand, chat? I play Legends of Runeterra, not League of Legends. Bail. I will swallow your soul. Oh, I should have played it twice. I can end the fight here. Neville's doing 17. That's a perfect kill on you. I can see the that, No, that only did one AP. I was gonna I was wondering if that would do two AP, but it didn't. Uh hi. Hi, Mouth. Chat, would you like me to come? Would you like Mouth to come? <laughs> more fights means more AP. This is a three AP fight minimum. Yes. Minimum three AP fight. <laughs> minimum. I'm telling you that right now. It's only a short if I don't get three AP in this fight, I will give Mouth the permission to call me a bozo. Nice. And then you do something like this. And then something like that. And then you hit one of these. And then you go bing bang. Does he need permission? Yes. The magic, it calls to me. Okay. Wait, did that put the debuff on him regardless of whether or not... Oh, because it puts, like, the debuff of, like, hey, I'm gonna stun him if he does attack. So it's not, like, a debuff yet. It's, like, a buff until he gets debuffed. Did anything that I just said made sense? Even death trembles in my presence. Mouth does not have permission to call me a bozo. That's the primordial burst. Deal 14 damage. Doubles if the enemies below half HP. Right now, it is currently 26 damage. It is currently 26 damage. So that'd be 52 damage. And then with Monster Hunter, we reduce it to a two cost attack. So it'd be a two cost deal 56, possibly 102. That's not bad. We just need to kill a couple more elites and then it's really good. I mean, we also have a lot of energy every turn too. So it's like, I don't know. It's not that bad. Lots of setup for not bad. Yeah, but what else are we going to do, man? What do we do better, huh? Wait, it says it's currently dealing 34. Does it scale, like, with a different AP ratio or something? Oh, it's because of this. It's because of this. Wait, 12 AP? It's 14, 14 plus 8? Or 12 plus 8? It's 20? Yeah, makes sense. Um, next attack plays twice. Okay. I should have played this twice. Banshees. <laughs> Event Horizon. Suffering awaits. Okay. 
Next turn, we kill both of these guys. Sick. We go Bing. I will swallow your soul. We don't even need to play these. Because this guy's getting stunned this turn. And then we draw another Baleful Strike. I'm sorry, we draw another Baleful Strike. Perfect lethal. Even death 32 AP. Or 32 evil, 13 AP. It's not bad. We're definitely scaling a little bit slow, but now with this upgraded, we're about to be in... What the hell? Predator. Activate this relic to gain one energy per combat? Wait, that's actually so sick. Deal, f deal damage, ignoring block. Ooh. Wait, Predator's kind of sick. I think I really want to remove, though. I think removal is, like, better than anything else. So we're going to remove. I will take a Predator, and I'll take a Clockwork Souvenir, and I'll take an Oddly Smooth Stone. Going to exactly one gold. And chat, it's you. You're the one gold that I would never give up. Because you're priceless. Ew? I'm sorry, I just poured my heart and soul out for you, and all I get is an ew in response? Oh? Cobalt's enjoying this mod, though. Cobalt's a Vigar enjoyer, I can tell. I never got my personally written hand love letter. Sounds like a personal problem. It says deal the dam deal double d double the damage if the target is below half HP. He is below half HP. So what is it right now? It's 13 plus 14. No, is that even double double? That doesn't feel like a double a double double. Like this doesn't feel this feels like it's doing not enough damage. Because right now it should be 13 plus 14 is 26. 26 plus 8 is 34. 34 times 2 is 70. So it should be dealing 140. This should be dealing 140. Should be. Should be. If it works out correctly. Was that 140? <laughs> Was that... It, it worked, right? <laughs> Hold! 34 times 2 equals 70. Yes. According to the game, yeah. Awesome. It worked. Pog. We should have played those two cards first. We would have dealt slightly more D. It's okay. I will swallow you soon. Yeah, he's going to swallow you. So yeah, it just doesn't, it doesn't tell you, like it doesn't double it on the card for you. Which is annoying, for sure. I don't think I need a fairy in the bottle. Maybe I do, though. That's probably... I don't know. Alright, one more elite and we proc our ultimate hunter, which is sick. Which is freaking sick. <laughs> we might... We could also go to another shop. No, we don't have any money. Never mind. You deny the parkness in your soul. You deny this tower. <laughs> the magic, it calls to me. I am evil. Stop laughing. 
Interesting what it decides to target there, that this is considered in front. That the top enemy is considered in front. Very interesting. It's only a short way. Wait a is minute! That a is that a short joke? No. You wouldn't. You wouldn't make a short joke. Can't see the top enemy. Oh, that's because you have to look through my fat ass. Sorry about that. Did that not gain AP for that? Rabadon's death cap. Uh-oh. We're at 13 total AP right now. Did it work? Did it work? Is it like just, is it just going to calculate on the card? It didn't, it didn't work. It didn't work. Rabadon's is busted. It would be if it worked, which it doesn't. Sucks. I started a Vigar game and I have 266 stacks. Are you just like missing your cue or something? <laughs> Shut up. It increases phenomenal power, not AP directly. Yeah, but plus 13. It says it gives me plus 13. And right now it is plus 10 PEP for one more AP. So I should be going up by one, right? And it didn't even say that it increased my AP. But yeah, I should be going up minimum by one just from how it says it should work. Uh-oh, Zanya's. Zanya's the Scion passive, and now Scion dies. Thank you for subscribing. Ayo, four months. Do this Coffees. eight more times, and it's 22. Streamer, do this IRL. Dude, at least that works, man. Look at this. Holy man. Stocking prey even now. Your loved ones suffer. Maybe you need to gain PEP to activate it. Yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just like a little yes. bugged. <laughs> we'll get something off this fight for sure. It's half a, what's half this HP? 170 is like, what, 85? What role do I play in League? I was a caster mid laner whenever I played a lot. I don't play a lot nowadays. Stocking prey again? I smell death. Have I used my energy relic at all? No. No, I haven't. Nope. Suffering awaits. I have not. Get to the next turn, play a baleful. Hey. I did go to 14 there. And I don't know the numbers of whether or not I should have gone up one. I don't. It's very confusing. But. I don't know if 35 was a threshold to go up another one. 14 is what it should be without death cap. Yeah, because... Yeah, I'm currently actually only need 5 PEP for 1 AP right now. Right? Because I'm only at 14. Once I get to 15 AP, then it's 10. Once I get to 16. It's all confusing, I know. I'm saying confusing numbers. I can see the fear in your heart. I have no idea of what's going on. It's a lot of numbers to just mean I'm doing more damage. That's all that it means. It's a lot of hoopla to just mean deal more D. You hover over it. It says how many you need. You have zero out of five needed for the next ability power. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. It it definitely, I don't think Rod of Ages is working. Or Rabadon's death cap is working. Which sucks. But hey. 
We're not always going to play perfect mods. I can see the fear in your heart. Typing QQ. Oh, how it takes me back. Numbers, damage. It is truly like League of Legends in that way then, right? Chat, Boxbox is supposed to go live in one minute. Do you think that he's going to go live? <laughs> Dude, he be giggling, man. He's a little giggly boy over here. This fucking guy. Okay, but how gold efficient is the death cap? Considering it doesn't work at all. Uh, not gold efficient. <laughs> I do like that there's different builds you can go for on this character. Like, you can go for, um, you could go for, fuck, my round of you, you could go for, like, a, a minion build, or you could go for a darkness build. I'm just going for raw stacking AP, which is really fun. I'm just a raw stacking. You know what I'm saying? I'm just out here raw stacking my shit. These guys I can actually get AP off of, which is cool. So we'll uh, we'll focus on the other guy. Your soul will come to serve me. Wait, did I only get? Did I only get one off of bu killing both of those guys? Because I got one from the last fight, and now it says I only have. You got to? That's weird that it isn't reading correctly on there, I guess. It's only a short way. Is that a short joke? Ted, don't make any short jokes. He gets really mad. And I want him to perform well enough that I can win this fight. At 40, you'll get one more. Yeah. Wait, why did this get reduced again? Mm -mm -mm -mm. You killed five more, I guess. Yeah, maybe it like tallied up. I don't know. The mod is like imploding on itself a little bit or something. Does it reduce every time it's drawn? Maybe. I don't think we have ever drawn it twice in a single. It does. It doesn't say that, but it does. Wait, this card's sick now. <laughs> Wait, I fucking love this card. This card is awesome. <laughs> oh, man. It's so good now. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Ah, spaghetti code. Just like League of Legends. We're right at home. I don't know if we gain AP by killing him once. I don't think you do, but I just want to... I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah, we don't. Okay. I'm, I was there just to make sure. Just to make sure. Zanyas. Get Zanyas. Get Zanyas. It's so broken. It should be like can't play Zanyas for like three turns or something. So that it has like its it, it has like its cooldown, right? How does Baleful Strike work against the guy next act? Bro, I don't fucking know. Your guess is as good as mine. We could all make different guesses and then all be wrong. <laughs> Plus one AP. A 
Apple chat. I just received a DM from Boxbox. Chit. Well. He said uh, 6 p.m. EST or PST works best for him. Um, he did not ask me to take my shirt off, but 6 p.m. PST is in five hours. <laughs> Holy. Oh, man. The AP Relic has the correct counter now? Yeah, yeah, it just seemed like it needed an update. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. <laughs> time for a long stream. Now, I think what that means is time for me to grind some fucking Lunky too. What am I doing with Boxbox? Box? He's teaching me how to play TFT today. Because I got into his uh, TFT boot camp competition. Um, you can check about it on Twitter or at BoxBoxTFT.com. Uh, exclamation point Boxbox boot camp in chat. It's a lot of confusing different things. Um, what happens if you save and, and come back in? Maybe death cap will work. I'm I'm worried that it might like delete all of my shit. But yeah, what I might do, chat, is I might we might grind some lunky. Um, we might grind some lunky after this, and then uh, end stream and come back. We might we might end stream and then come back later. <laughs> Double stream today. Yeah, take a dinner break. Give Doggo like a two-mile walk so he calms down. He's not been having a good day since it's Hannah's first day of, of work. Yeah, I'll come back and like stream for a couple hours tonight. That sounds good to me. Does that sound good to you? All right, we can see how Baleful Strike works here. <laughs> Wait, we actually didn't draw... Um, a card that saves us here. Interesting. For once in my life. We still perfect block though? Because I'm the god gamer, baby. Alright, I'll play all of these. He's getting stunned anyways, doesn't matter. Plus ratio, plus bozo. Play that, play this. Death cap is supposed to modify PEP and the PEP is matched the AP. Yeah, I just don't think it it did modify. Because this like it didn't go up by any significant amount. And it should have made our AP go up by at least two. Um, based on where it was at at the time when we picked it up. Alright, let's see what happens when we play. Okay, it just considers them both the front two guys. <laughs> Which is like probably, you know, the most likely guess, I guess. I... Fuck if I know, man. I'm a fucking dumbass for a living, you know? I do like that at least my character turns around. Really keeps me, uh, keeps me focused in, you know? All right, time to get at least one more AP by the end of this. As long as I can get one more AP, I'm good. If only we had a relic to give you one more energy every combat. If only I did. Clueless aware. Mirror Mage, play your next card twice. We could figure out what Brass Burden does now. <laughs> we could figure out what that does at least. Or we could just take Mirror Mage. Because it's like pretty good. We could potentially get two Equilibriums off. Or like double Grand Overseer Mech. Yeah, that's a little bit too fucking good, I think. Do you think Void Staff would be coded bad? <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, do I want to just play these here? And wait until next turn and see if we can't get off our god our god card. That sounds good. See if we can't get off the god card. The god card. 
Chat, I did not get off the god card. I would like to let you know. Uh, I'll draw a card. Well, that's not. <laughs> not exactly the kind of card that I was hoping to find there. Wait, did he just get interrupted by getting fucking blasted in the face? That's awesome. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just play you. It's fine. The magic. It comes to me. I just play equilibrium with predator on turn one. So I want to see if I could draw the god card. Were you not listening? About the god card? Clearly they weren't listening about the god card. Alright. We're warming up. We're warming up. No, I drew the void! <laughs> No! <laughs> Fuck! Shit! We have to wait until next turn then? Oh wait! My relic! Bang! Oh my god. He's so good. Didn't see that from his chat. I 100% did that all myself. Everybody clapped. He's so good. Getting four strength and dex every turn is pretty good. Mr. Streamer, you have potions. And the potion sound even works. Isn't that crazy? Yo, me too. Does this mean you can outscale the heart? No, eventually they deal nine times like, or they, they, they deal like 150 times 12. More damage than you're allowed to block. Not if you have intangible. That's true. I can just have intangible, but that's not outscaling the heart. You guys said outscale. Listen to your words that you used, man. Zanya's isn't outscaling, it's cheating. I played League of Legends for years. Mr. Streamer, I didn't hear the potion sounds. Could you oh. check if they work real quick? Yeah, they do work. They do work. All right. Easy game. The headline I keep saying about fear and hearts is quite fitting this time, since this bitch ran away from me before this fight. <laughs> and with our final pen nib, we hit the baleful strike to gain one more stack of pep. Pep. Eldritch Black. Chat was Vigar all along. Hey, guys. When's TFT? Uh, five hours. I just got a message from BoxBox. He said the best time that works for him is 6 p.m. PST, which it is currently 1 p.m. PST. 150.